It's a frigid and snowy day outside, so it's the perfect day for a hot bowl of soup. So in this video, I am making turkey taco soup. Turkey taco soup is a great way to use up leftover turkey. This recipe actually calls for a pound of ground turkey, but since I've got so much turkey left over from Thanksgiving dinner, I thought I'd grind some of it up. I've had this Emmy food processor for years, and it does a great job shredding up the turkey. I just need to make sure it's not all stuck together. This recipe calls for three cloves of garlic, minced, a small red pepper, and a medium red onion. You're also going to need a can of diced tomatoes, a can of green chilies, a can of whole kernel corn, and a packet of taco seasoning mix. I had three tiny red peppers on hand, so that's what I used. And after roughly chopping the onion, I put it in the food processor. Then I put two teaspoons of avocado oil in a hot pot to saute the garlic and onions till they were tender. If you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe. I can teach you to be a traditional homemaker in an untraditional way. And I am loving using these measuring spoons. They are a metallic measuring spoon, which is a little new for me. I usually use my Tupperware ones. I've had my Tupperware measuring spoons for more than 25 years, but I decided that I wanted measuring spoons that would fit into the spice jars, and many of my Tupperware ones would not go into the spice jars, so I ordered these, and they do. All of them except for the tablespoon goes into all of the spice jars that I have. The tablespoon is still just a little big for just one or two brands, but for most of the brands, all of these fit in the spice jar. So I will link it below just in case you're interested. And while that continues to cook, I'll get my cans open. Smell it pretty aromatic. Getting pretty soft, so I think I will add my pepper. And I'm just going to cook the peppers until soft. Now, if I was using raw ground turkey, I would then throw the ground turkey in and then cook it all together. But I'm not using raw ground turkey. I am using ground turkey that's already been prepared. So I may need to add just a little bit more oil since I won't have the oil from the ground turkey. So let me just add one teaspoon. Now let's add in the turkey. Yeah, you can see here that since the turkey is already cooked, you don't have the benefit of the oil that cooks out of it. So that's why I added another teaspoon. All right. Maybe I'll add another teaspoon. So I've added two additional teaspoons of avocado oil just because I don't have the oil coming from the cooked, well, from the raw ground turkey. Now we'll add our taco seasoning mix. So that taco flavor is wafting up right now. So I want to get all the taco seasoning in the meat. And notice, I haven't put any salt or pepper in here because all that seasoning is in the taco seasoning mix. All right, so now I'm going to add my diced Petite diced chilies. 
because I could see that the pot was starting to get a little dry. Now, if I was using raw ground turkey to cook, that wouldn't be the case, but hey, it's looking pretty good already. And this is a 28 ounce can of petite diced chili, or rather petite diced tomatoes. One can of black beans, and it does not say to drain, so one can of black beans. And then one four and a half ounce can of green chilies. Let's stir this together, and then we've got everything in here. Then we just need to let it simmer for a bit. Oh, I forgot the can of corn. And a can of corn. Whole kernel corn, not cream corn, whole kernel corn. Look how thick that is. So this will be a nice hearty soup. Let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like because everyone likes their tacos just a little bit different. So I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now how do I plan to serve this? Well, I'm going to serve it with taco, with sour cream and taco chips on top and taco chips on the side. I was thinking I would serve it with corn muffins but then I thought, wait a minute, it's not chili. And since we're having the taco chips, I don't need to make the corn muffins so why go that extra mile? So I won't be making any corn muffins today. We're going to have it with taco chips and if you want something else, we do have some crackers that he could have with that. So we'll have it with taco chips and sour cream on the top. Well, this looks and smells absolutely amazing. Like I said, it smells like Taco Tuesday in here. And just looking at it, it's almost too pretty to eat. But let's give it a taste. Get a little bit of the sour cream. delicious. I sprinkled a little bit of green onions on top and a little sour cream and very good. Now let's try it with the tacos. Good. I was just thinking all I needed was the taco shells, but you got the taco chips, so. Now, just a little tip for my young homemakers. When you're making things like chili or tacos or something like that, if it's just a teensy weensy bit bitter, add a couple teaspoons of sugar the sugar won't add any sweet, but it will take that edge off. And I will admit, I did add a little bit of sugar to this because I needed that little bit of edge taken off. And now it's perfect. The other thing you can do is some shredded cheddar on top. You know, like you do with chili, sprinkle a little shredded cheddar on top and mm, 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 mm. your hubby will think he died and went to heaven. Now, if you like this video, I have several others that I am sure you will enjoy. There's my hamburger vegetable soup video, my how to cook um, chicken soup with wild rice in the Instant Pot, and some other really simple dishes that are perfect for young homemakers and for seasoned homemakers and busy moms as well because time is of the essence and sometimes you just need to get it on the table. And this is perfect for that. This is also one of those perfect make ahead and freeze meals. So for example, this is more than the hubby and I can eat in even a couple of days. So I'll freeze half of it in a nice little Pyrex dish, put it in the freezer, and I'll be sure to label it on my inventory. 
and then I'll pull it out at another time. If you're looking for more ways to use up your leftover turkey, check out my video on how to make a turkey pot pie, and I will see you next time.